Jean-Claude Juncker. Would he make a good president in your book? What does Poland think of Jean-Claude Yes, Juncker? we support him because uh, we are part of the ruling party in, um, uh, in the European Parliament, the European People's Party. Uh, I'm the deputy leader of Poland's ruling party, the Civic Platform. And in Dublin, a couple of months ago, we agreed that this time it will be more democratic, not just national leaders meeting in a room uh, overnight and coming out with a solution. This time we are going to nominate a, a candidate ahead of the election uh, and, you know, the candidates of the socialists, the liberals and the, uh, and the centre-right were plastered all over Europe. So people, those who, took, who bothered to take an interest, knew that if they vote for us, Mr. Juncker will be the candidate. And we won. Uh, we got the largest number of votes. So we, are, we, we as the e European People's Party, are having the first shot at putting together a team that will create a, a, a coalition. The winning party's top candidate is the candidate for the top job. That's democracy. Well, what did you think then that Britain didn't seem to get it? You know, Mr. Cameron opposed him so vociferously indeed, as did the whole political establishment. Well, uh, actually, if the socialists had won, then Labour Party voters w would have got their way. I it's just that you don't have a party in the UK that is represented in EPP, but that was a British decision. Mm. But do you think tactically it was a mistake for Mr. Cameron to do this when we're talking about the commissioner's jobs being handed out? Well, uh, we will welcome uh, the British Conservative Party in the EPP group. Um, and uh, I think there is still every room for uh, influencing Mr. Juncker's program and Mr. Juncker's team, including the position of the British Commissioner. Hmm. Is, he, is he an arch-federalist, though? Well, that may be welcome to some and not welcome to others. We were just but that means you think he is? Uh, he believes that there are things that we can do at the union level which benefit us all. For example, on trade. We are now uh, negotiating with the United States just as before we were negotiating with China or Brazil. No single European country, including Britain, can get as good a deal in those negotiations as we can as the largest economy on earth. It makes sense. Just your view on the European Union for a country you unequivocally think it's a good thing. We do because um, if you have a single market, which was a British idea, you need rules and institutions to make sure that rules are obeyed. Uh, and that means delegating some power to the union institutions. And we have no problem with that. And of course, it means that on some issues you win, on others you lose. But you have to um, rub along. I mean, in your country and others play a large part in the debate within the UK about the European Union. Since your country joined the European Union and others in 2004 and others subsequently have joined the debate in the UK, do you think sometimes it's taken on almost a, a racist tone in that, you know, that you hear people, you must hear people in the UK, uh, newspapers, commentators saying, well, those Poles and others, they, they come over here to get our benefits, they take the low-paid jobs, they want free treatment on the NHS, they send benefits back to their children. What do you think about well, that? Well, the benefits tourism is a figment of some, of some politicians' imagination. It's just not true. I mean, look at your own parliamentary and, uh, and academic reports. Uh, the immigrants overwhelmingly contribute more than they, than they, than they take out. Uh, and you've just changed your rules on social security, uh, whereby you can't get benefits from day one. Uh, and quite right too, w w you know, we have those rules since a long time ago. So you're making actually your system more continental and we don't protest as long as you do it in a non-discriminatory way. Look, I was an immigrant in Britain. Um, I went back. You're a British uh, citizen, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was. And we hope our people also come back because we're beginning to develop shortages of labor in some sectors. You know, they are learning English here. They are learning skills, gaining all capital of all kinds. Um, uh, but we, um, we hope to, uh, and we're actually spending money on encouraging them uh, to come back.